All right, everyone, like I mentioned in my last video, here's how to make an NFT. You're gonna to wanna to go to rarible.com. This is the site I use to make my NFT and there are a lot of NFT sites, but this one I found to be the most straightforward. So maybe just take a minute to just peruse around and look at some of the other fun stuff. But once you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and click create. And then you're going to have an option between single and multiple. The only difference is, are you going to mint one token or multiple tokens for the same piece of art? I chose single, so now I'm going to choose a file. I have this fun MP4 video thing that I made when I was trying to learn rigging in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna upload that. And then I need a cover. So I'm actually just gonna go into VLC and take a screenshot and upload that. Now you have these three options. Put on sale is what we're gonna do. We wanna sell this piece of art. But you also have the choice for instant sale, which is basically choosing a sales price that you want it to start at. Say, I want this to sell for at least five bucks. Then you also have unlock once purchased, which means like once someone buys this, you get unlock maybe more tokens or something. Now I like Rarible, so I'm just going to use the Rarible collection, but you know, you could use another one. Now I'm gonna give a fun name. I'm going to give it a fun description. And then my favorite thing is because it's an NFT that lives on a blockchain, you know the full history from the moment I create it until whoever owns it now, which means that if anyone ever sells your NFT, so like right now, if I sell it to you, you're going to give me all of the money minus however much gas it costs to transfer the NFT. But then every time you sell it or that person sells it on, I get 10% of that cut because I was the original creator of this incredibly funny video. Now I want you to keep in mind to this original owner thing because when we go to connect our wallet, I later realized I made a kind of a mistake. I have a MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a plugin that you can put in the browser that allows you to basically have your Ethereum wallet act as your identity across the internet. You can literally have your MetaMask wallet be the wallet you connect here. But because I didn't, I just went ahead and set up Fortmatic. So I just signed up with my email and I popped that in and then it sent me a six digit verification code to that email. And then it welcomed me back. And this is important. It then asks me, Rarible asks me, because this is my identity, am I 13? and do I accept Rarible's terms of service? Now, I am over 13 because I'm a big YouTube boy, but, and I need to stress this, the terms of service of any website, but especially a blockchain related website are extremely important because stuff that happens on the blockchain is not reversible. It's not like contesting a transaction on your credit card. If there's ever something in their terms of service that allows them to basically own or pass along or do something with those royalties or whatever, then you really have no recourse. So you should take your time to read Rarible's terms of service. I have, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click this box and we're gonna move along. Now I already filled in everything, so I'm just gonna click continue. Now when you click create an item, this is where things get a little messy. Like I said, I like to use MetaMask, but Fortmatic was what I signed in with, so I had no ether in there. So I had to go and get my Fortmatic address and then go over to MetaMask and send ether to myself. And once I did that, I went and clicked, hey, you know, let me do this. And it's like, nope, try again. So now it's trying again. I'm going to click confirm to say like I sent it. So it's going to take some time. It's going to wait for the transaction to go through that actually puts the Ethereum into my Fortmatic wallet. And this takes a while. And I edited this video because I didn't want you guys to sit here for literally 25 minutes watching me have to wait through every single time I had to do this because it kept happening where I kept thinking I sent enough Ether and then it didn't have enough ether. Anyway, after a little while, it's going to say it's done. I click back to app. And then now you can see that it says upload files and mint token. So this is where it says I have enough ether to start this. I click start and this is my favorite part. I still don't have enough ether. So I think between like fees and stuff, I wound up spending like 150 bucks making this one NFT for this one gag for my video. So I hope everyone who watched that video is happy. <laughs> you're gonna try and you're gonna try again and you're gonna try again. And eventually it'll actually say app request enough. There's sufficient ether, click confirm. And the other thing to remember is like the value of these cryptocurrencies is volatile. So the amount of gas needed to do something can go up and down wildly in a day based on what the network is charging. But fortunately, I actually had enough ether this time and it went through. And for the low price of $118 worth of ether it's going to mint your token. And then you can just click sign sell order and you sign it with the uh, wallet that you've used here. This is my Fortmatic wallet. And that's all it takes, just 40 something minutes and a hundred something dollars worth of Ethereum. And this was totally not worth the effort for like one gag for one video. But I hope you enjoyed it and at least learned how you can make your own NFTs or some of the pitfalls you're going to remember. I'll leave a link to it in the video if you actually want this stupid thing. 
I strongly recommend setting up a MetaMask wallet just because it's way easier and more portable. And like I said, the wallet you create this NFT under is the one any royalties will go to. If you use this tutorial to make an NFT or you just make digital art or whatever, please leave a comment below so that I can see all your cool art and weird digital stuff because I still think these are pretty cool. I just thought this was totally not worth the time, at least for what I was trying to do. Anyway, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, share it wherever you can, let other people know about the fun of NFTs, and I'll see you next time.